All right. So. I know they were scammers. It's been a while. Don't make me laugh. Hey, give me a break, I man. It's not a big deal. Shut up. Don't completely remember how to Try play. To think how to fix this. But I remember I have a paraglider. <laughs> how do I do is it? There. So. Been a while since I played. I was gone. So, uh, wait, is that bad guy? Why is it? What the fuck is going on? And it always stutters whenever I first start playing. Full screen, yeah. Alright. Anyway, while well, it's stuttering, I'll talk. Anyway, uh, I might as well pause it and see if I can remember what I did. I think I did some parkour challenges. I might have done some other stuff. Because I, I played a little bit and then I had to leave the state for a little bit. So I'm pretty sure I did some... I might have gotten some airdrops. Might have done some anomalies. Some parkour challenges. I think I did this one. Yeah, I beat that one. This paragliding one, I think it's the paragliding one. Hooked on the, no, that's the hook one. This paragliding one I tried doing, but I, I couldn't fucking do it. And so I decided to upgrade my paraglider, and I think I upgraded a bit. And I think there's... I can also press a button to make me go faster, but I use a stamina or whatever. Anyway, uh, I might have collected some... I think I cleared out some metro stations. I think I did over here as well, yeah. And there are also missions over here that I haven't done, so we might do that next time. But I want to continue on the story for a minute after we walk. You're Silencio? That. Yeah. You familiar with my art? Well, not really, but I have seen Silencio posters around town. And you look, uh, well, you look younger than the pictures. Well, maybe it's my use of boulder or tissue mask or some other shit. Depends on who asks. If you is a crime, it's cause I laid them fresh rhymes. Fresher what? than Frank and his team in the shitty canteen. I have no way of picking up what you're laying down. The virus must have really cramped your style. Cramped, but not necrotic. I'm better than ever. Now how's that? Just listen, man. Throw me a word and I'll freestyle for you. Well, uh, <sighs> okay, um, volatile. Fast and furious. I can see that you're curious. Who's scared of the most? Acts like he's seen a ghost. Wanna scare Frank? Play a volatile prank. Yeah, of all my rhymes, that was not the most fine. Hit me with another word. Go. Goat. Goat? No way he you said that. You fucking serious? Goat. That's whack. Okay, peacekeepers. How about, uh, ooh, the peacekeepers. Ah, tough one. They got no style, they got no rhythm. And all they want is for us to join with them. Acting peaceful when for fights they're keen, just like the lushes in Frankie's canteen. Dope, right? Lay another one on me. It's not. I'm sensing that you're not a big fan of Frank. Really? Why'd you say that? Just an easy rhyme to make, man. Not really. You came up with some excruciating rhymes just to diss Frank. Excruciating? You disrespecting me? The one and only Silencio? You're not Silencio. <laughs> With rhymes like those, it's clear you just pose. My <laughs> guess is you're just some wannabe that Frank won't let perform at the canteen. Yeah, but only because I'm underage, not because I suck. Uh, I'm not gonna say fucking make yourself useful. I mean, he should, but. Grow up then, and stop pretending you're someone you're not. And I'm sure Frank would be more friendly if you cut down on insulting him. I'll think about it. Meantime, check this out. A ticket to my last gig, fool. Told you I was the one and only Silencio. Ha! Thanks, I guess. Damn right. All right. Now, time to go to this main mission. And try and not be distracted. Another parkour challenge. You gotta be shitting me. How do I? Okay, there we go. And then. Yep, I can just hit the little boost button and I can get a. Boost. I think it's also a little faster than it used to be. Stop. 
stuttering only when I start moving. Not like my computer sucks or anything. I mean, it's not the best, but it should be fine. Stop. Still got 900 meters? Would have been better to fast travel? I give shit. I, I, I don't have this. Oh, yeah, I do. Okay. Sure, fuck it. I'll fast travel this way. Does it make time go by faster? Because I might. Looks like the time stayed the same. Anyway, let's go up. Please stop stuttering. But it might take me a while to get back in the groove of this because, like I said, I stopped playing it because I was out of state for about a week. I should get back in the groove of things. Sifu. Sifu would be the hardest to get back into. What the fuck is that thing that's glowing? Oh, that's Tommy. Bye-bye. It's kind of dark. Oh, there we go. Forgot about my flashlight. Animals? Oh, shit. Chemicals all over the place. Have to parkour my ass up there, aren't Juan? I? Yeah, you were right. Only ruins left. Juan? Hey, Major Matt? Aiden here. Aiden, good to hear you, son. You said maybe you could help me out. I'd like to ask how. Not over the radio. Come to the ship. To the main HQ. I'll be there soon myself. All right. What the? We're gonna have another turned badass moment, or what the? F Let's get the hell out of here, Greg. Hey. Wait! Stay away! What I... Where am I? What hey! And my fucking graphics are fucking what up. What the fuck just happened here? Why is it being such a fucking tweet, man? All right, I'm gonna fucking finish this part and then figure out what's up with the fucking graphics. Did it update recently? I might have. And I might have to swap some graphic settings back. Oh yeah, it's definitely fucked up for some reason. Stop it! It's with all this gra- it's with- it Looks like only one of them looking at all, all that grass. Yeah. Okay, it's with all that grass that's fucking up. No, I don't want to truly change any settings. No, don't want to save them. No. No. Okay. No, they're smart. Did I fuck they're with the settings? 
Before the fall, my family lived in Governor's house. <laughs> I hear Matt told his men to leave the island camp. <coughs> Damn thing kids don't care about us. Fuck this, man. I was 16 at the time. Is it just fucked up? Come on. Something fucked up. I don't know if I'm be able to play a full part like this. <coughs> Oh yeah, alright, well, I'll be back. I'm gonna try to fucking change this. Shit. Alright, I don't know if... I hope Matt knows what he's doing. I don't know if what I did changed anything. I mean, it seems like there's no more stuttering. But... Yeah, see. Uh, what do they serve you? What do you today? want? Yesterday. Halt! Biomarker. Here. Report to Meyer in dispatch. The commander is on his way back from the field. Does Matt often go out on field missions? Used to be. He was hardly ever on the ship. Always in the field. Always helping. That's why I joined the Peacekeepers. But lately, Matt's been acting weird. I'm not sure what that's about. It's been this way since before old Villador and the Renegade attack there. Now this bullshit with the withdrawal, I, I don't get it. Whatever's going on, I hope he addresses the men soon. Helps us understand this bullshit withdrawal. Hmm. He's probably got his reasons. Whatever they are, innocent people are gonna get killed. But go see Meyer. Thanks. That's all I got. Alright, see what's up now. Game looks uh, fine now. It's not stuttering at all. Maybe that. I just had to fix some settings. In a year, you'll be addressing me. Optimize them a bit. Delivering lamps ain't a difficult job. Hey, where's dispatch? There. All right, men. We take care of the UV lamps and head back to base. It should be on point, fast, and easy. Go, go, go. You, if needed, we'll intervene. If you could intervene, why'd you leave in the first place? This is bullshit. Wasn't your father some famous war hero? I bet he's rolling over in his grave. Watch your mouth, civilian. Things are tough all over. You know that. Once? Ah, you. I remember you from the canteen. Yeah, I, I guess. From the fight? In the canteen? Uh, maybe. Don't sweat it. You can really hold your own. I respect that. Thanks. Aiden, right? Commander told me to brief you about faction matters. <laughs> Missy welcomes you. What did those survivors want? Talking about our little argument? They want what everyone wants. Safety. Which I understand. But we have to keep our eye on the bigger picture here. And it pisses me off when people mention my father. I, I don't mean to pry, but uh, what's the deal with your father? Ugh, this again? Since you're new here, I'll tell you the short version. Classic story. Saved a bunch of his fellow soldiers, some civilians, and got a medal. When was this? Long time ago. Back when people were only fighting each other, and not each other and infected at the same time. So is he why you joined the military? Pretty much. <laughs> he must have been very proud. Nope. Sure. Why not? Uh, who's Missy? It's the name of the ship you're standing in. She played a key role during the revolution. Missy was meant to deliver drugs, masks, and other critical medical supplies, then return home. But by then, home was gone. Ooh. She and her crew had nowhere to go. And what about now? Now, she serves as PK headquarters in Command Central. All directives are issued from right here. Smart. Easier to defend than a building. Exactly. Where is Matt? In the field. He came across a lead in Old Villador. You gotta wait. 
See that board? I got plenty that needs doing and not enough men. You want to pick up some of our slack? We pay well. Medic, hurry! Fuck, that's Major Matt. Medic, Something's hurry! happened. Make room! Clear the way! He's bleeding out! Fuck! Oh Ader's in really bad shape. No. Take him to the infirmary! Don't Summon the medics! Going. We have to save him. Hang on, Ator. We won't let you go. You hear me? Get moving. Better hope Ader survives. We lost too many people in old Villador. Jack will do all he can to find out who did this. I hope Ader survives. Okay. Talk to Jack, Matt. Can I talk to you about what's going on? I recognize your uniform. Um, you're one of those carriers, right? Sure am. Need a message delivered? No, I'm in the market for information, not sending it. And nothing I can do for you. Yeah, so I hear. But uh, maybe your boss can help me? Our guildmaster? Driscoll? Maybe. I don't know. He has the authority, but you'd have to be a very special case. I don't know about me, but what I'm after is important. You can try to speak to Driscoll, but don't get your hopes up. Story of my life. Where can I find him? In a headquarters, on downtown court, inside the metro station that bears the same name. You'll know it when you see it. And Driscoll, <laughs> you can't miss him. That right, sounds good. Thanks a lot. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome aboard here. All right, let's get oh, some A tour first. Sure. You're siding with the enemy. Someday the chickens may just get Let's see. Pushing himself to the limit. And these are the consequences. You think you'll name a successor? <laughs> I don't think so. No, Stephen. No filthy herb brother will decide my husband's fate. Is that why you got a medical degree? To go running to quacks for magic cures? Listen, we don't have medicine. Herbs are our only chance. My husband has fought for you for years. You must get medicine for him, not some herbs that might poison him. <sighs> Time to go, kids. How is he? Ator is strong. But he needs medicine, and that, unfortunately, we don't have. We did the best we could with what we have. After the chemical attack, some plants gained healing properties. They worked like an antibiotic. But still, I, people here have strong opinions about healers, but you can hardly blame them. The folk healers give sound advice, but it can prove difficult to follow correctly. Misremember something gather the wrong herb or use the wrong dosage, and instead of medicine, you administer poison. Which has happened plenty. Because if somebody messes up one of the steps of the recipe, it could kill him. Exactly. But it's enough to listen carefully to the healer's instructions and follow them. The herbalist I know, she's talented. She's Ator's only hope. And what's his wife's problem? Superstitions die hard. Margaret has helped many people everywhere. Some just don't want to admit it. I can help. I think I can help. You'd Sneezing. be doing us a big favor. What happened in old Villador is terrible. We've lost so many people. As far as I know, Ator is our only witness. So if he dies, we don't find out what happened there. Exactly. Right, where can I find this healer? On COVID Island. Don't worry. You can trust Margaret. Sure. Today, I thought our chances against the were pretty good. But now. I'm Move so along, sure. citizen. Fuck you, man. Why does everybody talk to me like an asshole? Alright, time to go see Jackman up there. I 
heard about Rose was drawn from the island. The old man knows what he's doing. <laughs> hey! Know what this is? These brass knuckles belonged first to Commander Lucas. Then, they passed on to Ator. What happened in Old Villador? It can't happen again. We have to save the city, Aiden. From the plague, from the butcher and his men, whatever they're planning. Okay, but over the radio, you said you have information for me. Yes, but before we get down to that, tell me, Aiden, what do you need this database for? What does it contain? I'm looking for my sister. What happened to her? A long time ago, Waltz hurt her. He took her from me. And I want him to tell me where she is. If she's still alive somewhere, or... That's why I was looking for the GRE command center. To access Waltz's database on its servers. So we have a common enemy. Here's so. Meaning? Waltz. That's the Butcher's right-hand man. He pumps his men full of inhibitors. We can get them both. I brought you here because I know that a few GRE scientists are hiding out in the city. We picked up the trail of one of them, right before the renegade attack. Sounds promising. When I find a scientist, we'll see what they know. If they are of no use, we'll find another, and another, until you get the answers you're looking for. Why are the former GRE in hiding? They're afraid of the wrath of the people. People angry because the GRE spread the infection. So it's true. The GRE brought in the virus. Who else? They say they performed experiments in their bases. They brought in containers from Haran. At night. In secret from the government. And then everything collapsed. In revenge, people captured the scientists and hanged them from lampposts. And killed the only people who had a chance of finding a cure. There is no cure, and there never will be, Aiden. That's GRE propaganda. Fine. But what do you want in return? What do you think I want? Maybe the same thing both of us want? The city has electricity again. The renegades are on the attack. For the first time since the war ended, they attacked our outposts in the city center. But new possibilities have opened up for us as well. Thanks to the electricity, we can fire up the biggest antenna in the center, on the VNC Tower Spire. Wait, you want to defeat the Butcher using radio? In a way. The signal will let me reach a larger number of people. Communication between settlements will be improved. We'll enlist more recruits and defend the city. And then it will be easier to find the surviving GRE doctors you need. I'll do my part. But what guarantee do I have that you'll help me after? You don't trust me, Aiden. I haven't been here that long, but I can already tell that kept promises are rare in this city. If we don't find any of the GRE scientists, I promise I'll get Waltz for you. You're working with Luan, which makes me think you're looking for him too. Okay, I'm in. Good. The Butcher attacked for a reason. I want to make sure this city is safe, no matter what. <coughs> you alright there, bud? You alright, sir? Maya will share our plan with you. Go see her as soon as you can. Oh, and Aiden. You don't have to call me sir. To friends, I'm Jack. Okay. Jack? Delivering lamps ain't a difficult job. Dr. Meyer. It's a shame to admit it. Alright. Sorry about that. There was some commotion going on downstairs. There we go, the controller. The mic but back. I cried when the city lit up. Matt told me to see you. Yes, he wanted me to give you this. A little reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight. Could come in handy. Thanks. He said something about a plan? The VNC Tower. 
Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. <sighs> but first, we need to get to the top. And that's a long road. What do you want to know? Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. Why do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're gonna light it up with UV lamps. Some more? What makes it so dangerous? A volatile nest inside, so we think. It's the biggest dark zone around. Once, night runners tried to take it over. They wanted to use the antenna to connect all the separate groups of survivors, give the people some hope. But they never even got close to the antenna. And in the end, the night runners were wiped out. Yeah, tell me more about what happened. Wiped out? You mean every last night runner? That's the problem. Frank had it all carefully planned. But for his plan to have worked, he'd need everyone. All hands on deck. And that didn't happen? Not everyone believed in the plan. So there was a rift. Frank thought they'd come around in time, but not everyone came around after all. The plan went to shit. It was horrifying. Those who heard the night runner's screams on the radio that night still have nightmares about it. What happened to the group that refused to join the mission? Split up, drifted apart. Whoever led the descent was branded a traitor. And the night runners faded into a shameful memory after that. We shouldn't waste time on the past. We need our heads in the game, here and now. Okay, let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be, if Juan from Supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide-and-seek the last few days, and he's late. Getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first. See what his deal is. And when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. Hope that flashlight serves you well. All right, UV flashlight. Hmm. Hold on. Hold to use it. To keep away for it to recharge. So I'm gonna have to fight a few volatiles. That's what it's looking at. Like. Where the fuck is it? Do I have to actually equip it? Um, it'd be this one of these. Oops. It's one of these, right? Don't really throw coins. UV bar. Where's the flashlight? Oh, right here. Now right here. Oh, there's different tools. I'm assuming the hook is one of them. Oh, and I can upgrade it too. Okay. This looks like a place I'm going to have to run through sometime. Like when it's falling apart or something. When I grow up, I want to pick the winning games too. Not work on the boat like you and Daddy. That's... Looking for Juan Rayner. You don't appear to be on a schedule. It's urgent. The commander sent me. So Monsieur Jacques sends you? Jacques? Jacques Matt. Monsieur Reyna is not here. I can take a message. No, I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? Unfortunately, I can't help. Monsieur Reyna's whereabouts are no one's business. Wait if he must. Anything else? <sighs> now wait, but you're no fun. What about your boss? What's he do for fun? Monsieur Reyna is well known as a connoisseur of the finer things in life. 
food, drink, and pretty much anything that walks on two legs. Is he near okay. any of these so-called finer things right now? Maybe I can drop in on him there. Nice try, but no. I won't say. Ah, okay. That's okay. Matt's not going to be happy. Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. In the Juan? Aiden, getting settled in the city? Working on it. Meyer and Jack sent me to supply. Interesting bunch. Not like any of the other PKs I've met. That might be because they're not PKs, Eagle Eye. Business is their true faith. I see. Uh, anyway, I can't track down their boss. Juan? He likes to make himself scarce. Probably lurking around the fisheye. The canteen? The slick bastard's even got his own table there. Bribes the cook to bring him off-menu goods. He lives like the fall never took place. I'll look for him there. Good luck finding him. And good luck if you do find him. Senior engineers have. Oh, what's this? Boomstick. Oh, my goodness. I like that. And I can also buy it. 100. I like that boomstick. We got remote C4. And a mine. Oh. Where'd all these goodies come from? Lacerating exploding shock. Weapon mods. Weapon mod. Let's upgrade my Night Runner tool. Need more military tech. Okay. Yeah. All right. What about the boomstick? I don't. I mean. Let's save it for special occasions. So it's probably a one-use item. Anyway, let's see. Uh, Don't you stay away uh, now, you hear? Alright. Looks like there's a mission Got somewhere around here. No order without. Not strict laws. Oh. The butcher is our greatest enemy. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure he is. Alright, two million people. Let's see what's up here. <laughs> this mission once for me. Okay, no. Where is this mission? Somewhere that way. This is all chicken scratch. I can't. I don't, I don't know where it is. Yeah. Okay. Well. I'll have to find it later. Okay. the entrance. But keep your eyes open. One time a guy Actually, what are we looking at time? Alright, looks like I should end it here. So I want to thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And next time. Oh, now it pops up, but fuck you, buddy. Anyway. Until today, actually, fuck I it. Our chances against were good. This is up above. Let's see if I can find this bitch. About 50 meters this way. I'll end it after I find this little side mission I wants me to do. You here after hours. Kids would have something to do. Okay, let's see. And Looks well, like it's down below. Okay.
It's for like, that. More that way. way. Have you been carrying on without a belt again? This way. I'm gonna okay. have to get going. And on top of it. Okay. Anybody? Anybody? No. Nice of you. Oh, is it up here? So I was thinking. What would you say about meeting up tomorrow evening? In here? Hey, you. Yes. I'm Albert, and from what I hear, you're Aiden. You have quite the reputation, my boy, for being fearless, for boldly crisscrossing the city at night. As if it were broad daylight. Uh, <laughs> you believe all that? At first, I didn't believe. Because a pilgrim's always a guy with some kind of dark past. A bandit, a rebel, an outcast. But from what they say about you... I'm sure whatever you've heard is in... exaggeration. Nonsense, my boy. I have something you probably don't come across all that much. Faith. Faith in you. I'd be careful with that. It's no time to be careful, my boy. I believe that your strength, determination, and courage are just what you need to retrieve priceless treasures before they are lost forever. Before mankind is plunged irrevocably into the intellectual and philosophical dark ages. So, your books, then? This isn't about dime store paperbacks, boy. I'm talking about the greatest works of literature ever created through the eons of human existence. The greatest thought pieces, philosophical treatises, works of romance, drama, and horror. All of which serve to illuminate and uplift humanity itself. Losing such a heritage would reduce us to cavemen, with no better way to express ourselves than through savage grunts as we scratch crude figures on walls <laughs> sure how can i help work with me please to find and secure these treasures i've been researching the local private book collections if i'm right many priceless volumes may be found all around the city of course right. many of the dwellings are now infested by these horrible creatures of the night that's where you come in. Here, take this list. Each title on it corresponds to one of the many facets of humanity. Fail to save them, and the diamond of mankind will dull and shatter like cheap glass. Remember, we are not simply creatures of flesh and blood, but also of mind and ideas. I am charging you with the salvation of the very spirit of man. Right. I'm off then. Well, now I will see you next time. The book club. All right. Goodbye. Hope you enjoyed, and hope to see you next time.